Hi everyone! In this tutorial, we'll explore the basic operations of Actor Mixer and how to quickly create customized character appearances using its features. From the overall head and body to facial features, everything can be mixed independently to efficiently generate a wide variety of character styles. First, let's introduce the Actor Mixer content. In the CC5 character pack, you'll find 12 different characters available for use in Actor Mixer, along with corresponding content for each body part. Full body and head skins are also included for direct application. If you've purchased Actor Mixer Pro, you'll not only have access to additional features but also the core library, which provides over 40 high quality 3D scanned heads, each with corresponding content for different parts. You can also get the Human Anatomy set, which includes 12 highly detailed CC5 characters. Best of all, each character provides its own mixer ready assets, including full character, facial parts, and texture. Next, if there's no character in the scene, you can simply click on Actor Mixer and it will default to a base male character. Then, by clicking Start, the character will be imported into the scene. You'll notice that the character automatically switches to Subdivision 1, balancing performance and visual quality. Of course, you can also choose higher or lower levels depending on the device. If you use the Subdivision 0 blend, you'll notice that with a lower polygon count, details cannot be fully displayed. By clicking Subdivision 2, the higher polygon count allows the details to be properly shown. You can also choose to load a base female character. In the wheel, you can select whether to blend with a male or female target. Once you select female, you can then click Start Mixing. We can also manually load a character into the scene for blending. First, make sure to switch the character to Subdivision 1. Next, we recommend turning the character into a gray model, making it easier to observe changes in the appearance. First, to reduce performance load, we can hide all hair and accessories. Apply the grayscale atmosphere from the CC5 character pack and apply the mannequin gray texture. And you can adjust the diffuse color as needed. Once the setup is complete, click on Actor Mixer. Select Current to use the scene's character as the basis for blending. You can then drag content from Anatomy Pack into the mixer wheel to replace targets, or right-click to remove the current mixer target to adjust the number of targets. However, you'll need at least three targets to perform blending. You can also swap the positions of the mixer targets and save the wheel. Click Save Wheel Set. We provide options to save active or all list wheel. In this case, we choose an active wheel set. So, if you've used a different wheel set and want to use the previous one, you can click Load Wheel Set and select the file you just exported to replace the current wheel. Next, click on Head. You can see that there's a full head blend, along with matching content you can use. Actor Mixer also supports independent blending of facial details, including eyes, nose, mouth, and others. When selecting each part, the Content Manager will automatically sync to help you replace mixer targets more conveniently, allowing you to blend each part as needed. When switching to another tab in the Content Manager, you can use the Morph button to quickly jump back to the related category for that part. Finally, for the body, there are two categories, Ratio and Shape. Ratio blends the body skeleton size according to different mixer targets. Shape 
Shape will retain the skeleton's size while appearance blending. Next, you can see that some shape content items have an icon indicating that they are full character blends. After dragging the content, you'll notice that during blending, the face will change along with the body's appearance. Slimmer bodies will have thinner faces, while heavier bodies will have fuller faces. Next, we can click on Skin, and you'll see the Content Manager switch to the Skinhead category. We provide a wide variety of head skins to apply, with different resolutions to choose from. Besides the head, you can also apply overall skins to the entire body. Here, we'll choose 2K to quickly preview the effect. Both humanoid and stylized characters can be blended. With Actor Mixer, you can quickly create customized character appearances by blending different parts. Next, let's go over the complete workflow along with advanced editing and adjustments. We'll start by blending the overall head, then move on to facial parts and body. Once blending is complete, you can view the results in Current Used Morph, where all mixer outcomes are stored as mixer sliders on the character. Sliders with a green icon indicate mixer sliders, which can be further adjusted to modify the character's appearance. Each part also provides its own mixer sliders for refinement. Of course, standard morph sliders can still be combined. Even the new HD morphs can be used together, enabling you to craft your own fully customized character appearance. After finishing the shape adjustments, you can apply a skin. We offer a variety of ethnicities, as well as both 2K and 4K resolutions. 2K allows you to quickly see the effect. 4K provides more refined details. In this case, we'll apply a Middle Eastern 4K skin. Next, you can select suitable eyelashes and eye makeup to complement the look. You can also enhance facial details further with new skin texture and use skin gen to adjust the details of each facial area. Finally, pick a hairstyle that fits the character, and the process is complete. With Actor Mixer, you can quickly shape the character's appearance, then enhance it further with skin, eyelashes, hair, and other content or tools to add more details. Now, let's explain the difference between Mixer Sliders and General Sliders, as well as the Create Mixer Assets function. In the new CC5 characters, all sliders on the character are Mixer Sliders. When you perform blending in this case, the overall result looks very natural. This is because all mixer sliders blend together and work as a non-destructive blend, ensuring the final outcome is both smooth and predictable. However, older CC3 Plus characters or externally customized characters are usually using general sliders, which do not have the green icon. When blending with these, some results may appear unnatural. This happens because general sliders do not blend with mixer sliders. Instead, they preserve their own data and stack additional mixer slider data on top, which can lead to unexpected visual results. To solve this, you can use the Create Mixer Assets tool. This tool breaks down the current character's appearance data into mixer sliders. You'll first need to set the names of the new sliders, select which body parts to split, and choose whether to save mixer assets. After creating, you'll see the head will be divided into eight different parts. Once you click Create, all the separated parts are saved in the Content Manager. And the character's existing data is now split into mixer sliders. From there, blending produces a non-destructive result, eliminating the unnatural stacking problem caused by general sliders. Not only can this be applied to old characters, but even CC5, Characters that still carry general sliders can use Create Mixer assets to refresh their data. 
This regenerates new mixer sliders based on the current character's appearance. And once completed, you can proceed to blend. Finally, under Mixer Ready under the character, we also provide Mixer Grade CC 3 Plus characters. These come with mixer sliders by default, so if you want to blend with characters from the previous generation, you can use them directly from Mixer Ready. Next, let's explain the flexible creation with Adjust Base on Actor Mixer and the scenarios for its use. First, you can see if our base character is a CC 5 character or any other mixer level characters then using a standard slider to adjust the base character into a big-eyed cartoon style. After that, blending will use the current big-eyed cartoon character as the basis for the blend. Since our base character already carries standard big-eyed slider information and standard slider data is preserved, this method allows us to quickly generate a series of family characters. If the base character has expressions applied when performing a blend, the facial profile will calculate the optimal results for blending, and any corrective effects will also carry over. We can also try blending using multiple expressions. And you'll notice that all the facial expression data can be saved and blended. Using expressions can highlight unique features and reveal details that may be overlooked in a neutral state. Finally, we can also perform a blend while the base character with a pose. This tutorial demonstrates how Actor Mixer can quickly create characters by blending head, body, and facial feature details. Additionally, combining different slider types and base data allow for richer and more natural character designs. In the next tutorial, we will explain how to use the random function to quickly generate character appearances and skin while using personalized mixer heads and bodies as sources for the random face feature. Thanks for watching.